yeah. <laughs> so, I never thought I would be doing this. I didn't have to do this with the end of the year video, but let me explain. This Battlefront 2 video was supposed to have November, December, we'll talk about other stuff, then it'll be the end credits. Unfortunately, that's not happening. See, the thing is, we're going into February, and I don't want to keep this project in for too long. So this is a recap of the content that we got back in 2018 for Battlefront 2, and it's through the months of January to October, and then that's it. Because it is unfinished, if you're wondering. But enjoy nonetheless, and may the force be with you. Hello everyone, so this is something a bit different. So, at the start of this year, it's been somewhat of a year for Battlefront 2. It's been good, and it's also been bad, it has been. Now please note that this is something I may not do all the time, and the only reason why I do it for like Battlefront 2 is because it's a game that I more than enjoy the most. It's something that relaxes me, and I don't know, it's just an easy thing to play for me. I could say the same with Battlefield 5 or Fortnite, but no, this seems to be more easier and more of my pace to go. But I also do plan to make somewhat of a documentary of Battlefront 2 when the life surface ends. I don't know when that will happen, but anyway, today in a special video, we're going to be looking at every single piece of content that Battlefront 2 has released throughout the months. Many channels have actually only covered a small bit of it, but please note that we're only covering stuff that's in 2018, not in 2017. This is Star Wars Battlefront 2, year look back 2018. Let's do this. January is the month for the new year, but it didn't see that much content for this month. But in the recent months, we would get to learn about that. But for this month, Crate came to blast. Aiden's TIE Fighter became a hero ship in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Also according to sites, there was also new star cards, bug fixes, and also the last Jedi season ending in this month, while it's also being extended, if that makes sense. February, as most people like to call it, the month of love. But, did Battlefront 2 provide that? Well, at the time before I went on to multiplayer, it actually did. For Arcade, it was a bit of a brief of a fresh air that a couple of new maps came to it, and that was Hoth, Crate, Death Star 2, Jakku, Endor, and Kashyyyk. And also a new mode came to the game called Jack Pack Cargo. Now, at the time, this was only available on Tatooine. Including those new skins ported from Battlefront 2015 for Luke, Leia, and Han. And according to sites once again, in this month we had new emotes and bu bug fixes. For many people, March would be the biggest month, and so this would be the start of a new light for Battlefront 2. For new players coming back and to enjoy the game, more, as of the progression system was introduced into this update, including a new map but ported from Star Wars Battlefront 2015 called Bespin. As the person who at the time did not have multiplayer, it was actually quite nice to see what Bespin looked like 
and considering I didn't purchase the season pass in Battlefront 2015, it was a nice free addition to all the people moaning about it and forgetting about the people who don't have multiplayer and who have not purchased the season pass from the last Battlefront. You do forget us. After March, we also found out that a lot of developers went to another game that we soon to be led to find out was EA's and Slash Dice's Battlefield 5 that was going to come out this year in November. But at the time, I think we didn't know anything about it. But anyway, for Star Wars Battlefront 2, April had another new mode, which was Ewok Hunt. In this, you get to have a chance to play as Ewoks and also play as Stormtroopers. You either make it alive as a Stormtrooper or die as a Stormtrooper and become an Ewok, and then your task is to kill all the main Stormtroopers before they leave Endor. Also, new hero skins came from characters to Han, Wei, Chewie, Aiden, and more. Including those new skins for the classic skins for the Officer, Heavy, and etc. In May, it saw two things. One, we had May the 4th as of one of the Star Wars celebration days, I guess, and also the start of the solo season based upon the film. And this will continue for not just this month, but it will end in next month. And this will be the last to second season we were going to have for Battlefront 2. So, on the May the 4th weekend, we had double XP we did. But then getting into the new content for the solo season, we had a new mode called Hero Showdown, a 2v2 mode. We also had for offline players... Starfighter Custom Arcade, where it's arcade, but you're basically fighting in the sky, either in hero ships or in the normal ships. You can choose from either playing on the good side or the bad side, and it's the same, all different settings from the arcade one. We also had a new map ported from Battlefront 2015 called Tatooine's. Jabba's Palace. We also had the introduction of legendary skins and that was Lando and Leia. Including there was new milestones, a new menu and more. For June we saw the continuation of the solo season but also ending in this month. And we also saw E3 happening as well as EA Play, which we will talk about after I've talked about this content. So, we had a new map from the movie called Kessel. Many say it's a wee port of Tatooine, but to be honest, it looks nothing like Tatooine, and you're stupid if you think that. We also had new skins as of Han had two and Lando had two. Those were legendary and voiced by different people. And there were also a skin for Chewie. We also had a new new mode ported from Battlefront 2015, which was Extraction. And also Extraction is available on Tatooine's Jabba's Palace and Kessel. We also had a new hero ship with Lando and that droid, I've forgotten the name. With new features and including bug fixes. I will talk more about this at the end of the video, but for now I will say this, that Star Wars Battlefront 2 had a big announcement at E3 this year. And new content and new heroes and villains, new maps and new modes were all coming starting from after June and here is what happened on that day Hello there, my name is Dennis. I work at DICE in Stockholm on Star Wars Battlefront 2 I'm really happy and excited to be here today. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit 
So we launched our game in November of last year, and clearly we didn't get it quite right. So instead of coming out of the gate sprinting like we really wanted to, we had to take a step back and make sure that we were delivering the game that our players really wanted. So we decided to completely overhaul our progression system and add a bunch of new character cosmetics for players to collect instead. So from there, we added a new hunt mode inspired by the original Battlefront games that I loved personally, starting with the Ewoks on Endor. And <laughs> thank you. Uh, we, um, it turned out to be by far the most popular update of the game, and the team loved building Ewok Hunt. So as you might know, we're currently in our Han Solo season with content from the movie coming next week. It's headlined by the new planet Kessel, a really dangerous place, and it features the return of one of our favorite modes, Extraction. So looking forward a little bit, this summer we will be introducing a new squad system to the game, which will allow you to team up much easier and play with your friends. We're also adding a new Starfighter mode focused around dogfighting with your hero ships. And looking ahead a little bit more, we will also be delivering a new large-scale multiplayer sandbox experience focused around capturing command posts and attacking and taking out capital ships. But that's not all. We know that you have been asking for new heroes, villains, and planets from a certain era that features a very iconic Star Wars conflict, so I'm excited to confirm that Battlefront 2 this year will be going deep into the Clone Wars. It's only fitting that we begin on the planet Geonosis, featuring multiple levels, including the largest level we have ever built for Battlefront. So let's talk about the heroes and villains. First, let me introduce the most powerful droid, <laughs> the leader of the most powerful droid army in the galaxy, General Grievous. And yes, he will be going up against my own personal favorite, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. finally making his debut in Battlefront after all these years. So, but we're, we're not done, that's not it. They will not come alone. Joining them is the Dark Lord and leader of the Separatist Alliance, Count Dooku, as well as someone to bring balance to the Force, Obi-Wan's unruly Padawan, Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> the team at home is extremely excited to be building all of these cool things. EA and DICE are committed to Battlefront. We had a rough start, but I really think that this game has a bright future. Thank you very much for playing the game, providing us with your feedback, talking to us. Together, we will make this the greatest game that we can possibly build. There would be no Battlefront without you. So thank you, may the force be with you, and enjoy the rest of E3. Thanks. For July, the content that we got was a new mode called Hero Starfighters. Also, we got a skin ported from Battlefront 2015 called the Salus skin. We also got the return of Ewok Hunt, but including we got some new features, bug fixes, and more. But when I say but at the end of Ewok Hunt, I mean that Ewok Hunt was here, but unfortunately it was ended up to be removed due to a, a bug in the mode. And also Ember Palpatine, well for him, DICE had to pull a kill switch, but Ewok Hunt and Ember Palpatine was later to return in August. It would be a long wait, but would it be worth it? In August of 2018 we saw two things happening. One, we saw the return of Emperor Palpatine and Ewok Hunt finally, and then also the main content update for the month. So the first update was the return of Emperor Palpatine and Ewok Hunt. Can't really remember if anything else came of this, but we'll just move on to the main update itself. And that was the Naboo Palace Hangar was added to Blast an Arcade, 
Ewok Hunt was made permanent. New clone skins are finally here for the first time. You can unlock skins, emotes and victory poses with credits of crystals. Plus, in this update you had new features and bug fixes. In September we saw the second clone skins come to the game. We also saw something that many of us have been wanting and that is the new squad system. Now currently in September the squad system was only available for Galactic Assault and Strike. Whilst they also said that private matches would be available in Hero Showdown and plus also there were some new bug fixes as well. In October we saw finally General Grievous coming to Battlefront 2. This would be our first new villain since December of 2017 but Grievous wouldn't come alone as of he would come with an extra skin which was called Battle Damage. Also the Naboo N1 Starfighter was added to Hero Starfighters and also there are some Hero Health Card changes as well plus with some bug fixes and this is only the start because one of the promotional pictures for Grievous showed off in the background Geonosis.